dolls! So today is going to be a new lipstick collection video. The last one I did was my nude lipstick collection and that was last summer so it's been almost a year. Today is going to be all about purples and mauves and all of those colors in the purple family. I am literally talking about purple, like on my lips, like the color of my carpet, or my sheets, or my walls. I love purple. But it is not always the most wearable color for a lot of people. It's outside of a lot of people's comfort zones. And the products I'm going to be showing you range from really daring and odd and definitely not your typical lipstick color to pretty wearable and leaning more towards a mauve or berry shade. So let's get started with showing you the products I have. The first product is actually a discontinued Revlon lip gloss. I don't remember exactly what these were called. Oh my god. There are words, but they're very small. Super Lustrous, that's what it says, and I do remember that now. This was the Super Lustrous line of lip glosses, and the color is Lilac Pastel, and that's exactly what it is. It's a really, really beautiful pastel lavender color, which is my favorite color of all time if you don't know that from being on my channel. I don't usually wear this alone though. I usually use it as a topper to give a really pretty um, purpley tint to light pink shadow. Shadows? What are we talking about? Lipsticks? Or to put on top of lavender lipsticks because I actually have two of those. Because I am not lying when I say I really love the color lavender. Next I have a Revlon Lip Butter, which, do you guys remember? These were all the rage about three years ago, and I got this back then, when they were the rage. And it's almost gone now, because it's so old. The color is Gumdrop, and it is pretty similar to the lip gloss I just showed you, except for this is a little more pinky, and that's about how much is left. It's a really pretty, subtle color, a really great way to sort of introduce yourself to a lavender lip if that is outside of your comfort zone. Next is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's actually my only MAC lipstick I even own. It is the MAC Viva Glam Nikki 2. Yeah, Nikki 2. And it is a really beautiful pastel lavender. I love it. The formula is amazing. I actually did a full review on this lipstick a long time ago. It's not the greatest video, but it's pretty informative in a way. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Then I have the Lavender NYX Macaron Lipstick. And if you don't know, this was a line of lipsticks in which NYX released did some really crazy colors like lime green and bright blue and a grayish periwinkle and stuff like that. And this is legitimately a true lavender color. It's a lot more cool toned than the Viva Glam Nikki that I just showed you. It's really just a straight up purple. There's no pink in it at all. So it's definitely a out of the box, out of your comfort zone sort of color to wear. I love it, but that's because lavender is the color of my soul. Now I have a pretty odd product to show you. It is a limited edition Maybelline Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss and it is a dark royal purple color. I bought it because I had never seen anything like it. Like it's really really quite interesting but its uniqueness is kind of its downfall. It is fairly sheer so when I put it on it kind of just looks like I stained my lips with grape juice it's not good to wear by itself at all because it also takes a lot of precision when putting it on your lips and it doesn't stay in place because it's slick. The only thing I use it for once in a while is on top of reds to give it a sort of cool purple blue tint, but otherwise this is kind of a useless makeup product. Next we have something that is actually on my lips right now on top of another product and it is the Maybelline Color Elixir in Vi Vision in Violet. And this is a bright purple Barney color. Dude, all of these lipsticks just like blend in with my decor in my room. I have a problem with purple. But this is a really cool 
lip product. I have an entire review on the Color Elixirs by Maybelline, and I'll link that in the description box below if you'd like to see that, but I really like this product. It's very soft on the lips, very, very vibrant, and it looks cool on top of some of my other lip products. Next, we have a Lime Crime lipstick. This is the color Chinchilla. It is a gray lavender, and this is my favorite lipstick to wear with pastel goth coordinates. I really, really like it. It wears extremely nicely and looks really cool on my skin tone. I don't really know why, I guess. Gray colors look good on me, I guess. Who knew? Then we have another Lime Prime lipstick, and this is Poison Berry. I've had this one for quite a few years now because I bought it way back when Poison Berry was first released. But this is one of my favorite fall colors. It is a really beautiful, shimmery amethyst color. Really, really like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then we have the other product that is on my lips underneath of the Maybelline Color Elixir. So right now I am wearing these two products. This is a Maybelline Vivids lipstick, which I also have a full review on. And this is Brazen Berry. And it is also a Barney purple color, which is why it looks so good under the Color Elixir. I don't have a lot to say about it. I really love the Maybelline Vivids. It's one of my favorite makeup lines, so I definitely recommend them. Now, we have the three colors that are the most wearable of this video. For those of you who may not feel comfortable in a Barney purple or a lavender lip, these are the Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks from the purple line. None of them are really straight up purples. They just have a purple base. The first one is Magnificent Mauve, and the name pretty much explains it. It's a really nice mauve color, very pretty for the early fall. It's real subtle, really good to get you into purple lipsticks. The next one is Blissful Berry, and it is also a straightforward name. It is a really beautiful berry shade. You really can't go wrong with the Maybelline Color Sensational line. It is a great line of drugstore lip products. And the last product I have here is Deepest Cherry. And this one's really more of a brick red, but it does have a plummy base to it. But this is an amazing, bold fall lip. I really like it. I don't have a lot to say about it. It's the same as these two. They're all from the same line. And that's all my purple lip products. I hope you enjoyed seeing them all. These videos are always a little bit long. And guys, this is what I did for this video. My lips are extremely raw right now from putting lipstick on, then wiping it off, then putting on another product and wiping it off. It is not fun, but I did it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. You better have enjoyed it because I did this for you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop being extremely strange and just end this video here. I will see you in my next one, dolls. So until next time, stay glamorous and stay geeky. Bye. Purple lip products, give them all to me. Cause purple is the best color and you can't convince me differently. Oh my God, that actually rhymed. What the hell is wrong with me?